Okay, there's a lot of different shotguns out there, and a lot of us are interested in things like this. And then we've got the AR Century Dynamics. is kind of a newer company. I was completely not familiar with them. Gun Dot Deals uh, got a hold of me. One, know if I'd review some of theirs. Uh, this is the PAS 12, and I got two others. We'll go. We'll get to those. But anyway, we got a lot of different shotguns on the market. What I want to do is I'm just going to combine all three of these into kind of a quick review. You know, I'm not going to get into all the internal mechanics and disassembling stuff like a lot of times I do in videos. I mostly just want to get some rounds in these, shoot them, see how they feel, see how they work, and, you know, at least give you a starting point. Anyway, let's check out the Sensory Dynamics shotguns. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. The PAS-12 back here at my CQB range. We're going to have some fun here on some steels and just try out some of the different loads here. We've got some buckshot. You know, shouldn't have any problem with that. Typically, guns have problems with sort of the, you know, the skeet or the trap shoot and the low power stuff. So we'll just load it up with all of these and... I've got a Crimson Trace green laser on here. We're going to shoot from the hip. Uh, I personally think it's kind of interesting to have ghost rings on this and no stock because it's really kind of awkward to hold that up. And I really don't want to put that pistol grip near my face <laughs> when this thing goes off. So let's get her loaded up. Yeah, I'm just going to start with some Winchester here. Just... Okay, so we got the three loaded in there. Let's just, got the green laser. Take her off safety and. <laughs> that is exactly why I'm not gonna hold it up here like this, looking down those ghost rings. <laughs> yeah, it's got some recoil, guys. You get one of these, you got like the Mossberg Power Shock. Don't hold it up here like this and try looking down those sights. You're going to bust your face. Okay, so it's the day after Thanksgiving. My sugars must be all messed up. I had, I got four in here. So anyway, I got the Fiocchi here. Let's give the Fiocchi a go. Man, I tell you guys, the other thing is, is I would not put this into your hip. I don't think you're going to be happy with that. I would just hold back here. And those that don't think birdshot is effective, are you seeing that target? Okay, at this distance, I would not want to get hit with that. Okay, I'm going to say, this thing's got some recoil to it. It is, you know, I haven't, I don't know that I've ever even shot a shotgun like this before. I'm holding it back here, and when it's going off, my hand is sliding forward and hitting there. Um, you're going to want to hold on to this. You're not going to want to mess okay, so around. Now I got the buckshot in here. I want to try something a little different. Kind of like when we're holding a rifle and going in tight. I'm going to put my elbow here tight on my side with a straight arm here. See if that helps any. Let's, uh, let's see how we do with the buckshot. Oh man, it still came back and hit me in the stomach. Oh, still hit my hand. You see the flames on that? That is why this is a wicked home self-defense. I had a laser light, which is what I would absolutely recommend. Thing is, is it doesn't fit in the back saddle or, you know, the pack, whatever you want to call it, the scabbards. There we go, the scabbard. Um, whew. You know, and honestly, I think I'd put a laser light up here. And what I might try is, because this thing keeps slamming forward, I don't know if you can see here on my hand but it, it's bashing my knuckle i want to put a pistol grip on this in fact i may run back to the house quick 
and see what I can come up with. That is going to be a lot more comfortable. Let's give that a go. All right, so this is round two. I got my Sightmark laser light on here, which is what we'd want anyway with something like this. I mean, I'm not shooting ski with this, and I'm not going turkey hunting with this. So this is totally self-defense, truck gun, whatever you want to call it. And then I got my Magpul vertical grip here. Um, let's just see how this does. Okay, we're going to get the green laser there. Okay, we got that. Go ahead and rack this sucker, and we'll go from here. See if this makes a big difference. Oh, yeah. That makes a huge difference. I'm going to say you go with this, and I'm going to guess this is going to be the same with the shockwave. You absolutely got to do the vertical grip. Let's throw some buckshot in here. Okay, you guys got to check out that target. Watch, Watch for the sparks. Okay, and watch, watch the recoil. We'll see if we can do some of this maybe in slow motion. I'll see how fast I can get these off on, on target. <laughs> hey folks, if you're enjoying this review, do you follow my channel? Would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing, not a zip, zero? Hit that subscribe button. That does as much as anything, so hit that button. I just got a new webpage, Home of the Crazy Stupid Deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Cost you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel. Going through my links and it costs you nothing. You can literally buy toilet paper and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there, and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. Now, I'm going to say, too, as far as home defense, okay, you know, I'm a fairly in-shape guy. This thing has got serious recoil. I don't think smaller people are going to want to shoot this, and I'm not, this isn't being sexist, but I don't see a whole lot of ladies wanting to hang on to this, you know, unless they're like my size and they're 200 pounds uh, and it ain't below the waist. So anyway, yeah, that's fun. Uh, that was a lot of fun. You're going to go with this, got to have the laser, got to have the pistol grip. All right, let's check out the next shotgun. Okay, now real quick here, note this is essentially going to be competing for the market of that Mossberg. You know, the Mossberg Shockwave. Yeah, that's been around a long time. Just, you know, a couple things right off. This is actually, at least from what I was finding, is more expensive than the Mossberg. Um, kind of the downside is, you know, and maybe a, it would be great if the price was lower. Century Dynamics, I'm just not familiar with it. Everybody's heard of Mossberg and the Shockwave. Then when we look it up, this has four or will hold four and the shockwave holds five so you know what i guess i would like to see aside from finding out more about the mechanics and the reliability over time so i'd like to see a huge price drop that's going to bring it into competition with something like the shockwave that's been out there that has a name real quick almost forgot on this shotgun I was trying to do a little research from what I can tell, and I'm not 100% on this, this is an import made from Turkey, brought into the U.S., and Dynamic, or Century Dynamics, puts this together and sells it. But uh, anyway, not entirely sure on that. But, you know, one more thing, if it is actually made in Turkey or it's from Turkey, really need to see that price point drop then compared to some, you know, homegrown American-made firearms okay so this is century dynamics pk12 it's an ar style um you know on the other one that i did the the pas12 i was kind of speculating I'm, I'm pretty sure it's made in turkey it didn't say this one does say made in turkey imported by century dynamics okay just real quick here i wanted to show you that we can change out the choke tubes we've got three different ones 
got to go to the instructions to see what's provided. It does not have, I wish they would, anywhere on here what it is that is in the instruction book. It has them coded, and then it has the tool, and we can just swap that out. My auto, mag fed. I've got a pro mag here, 20 round drum. Actually, it doesn't have the twist or anything like that like we're used to, but it actually loaded really easy. And then this great big thing, this is only a five round mag. Uh, you know, that's kind of the thing that sucks about shotguns is you have this massive mag and this thing only holds five rounds. Then we got this one, this holds two rounds, okay? It does have a removable choke. I'll show you that later here. Let's just uh, load up. I just want to see how well it goes through this. We've got the Fiocchi ammo in there. Anyway, let's, uh, let's just charge this up and see what it does. See uh, what kind of recoil we got here. Actually, gosh, there's no recoil at all. That was impressive. All right, that was the two-round mag. Let's put the five in. Let's see how fast I can get these off. Nice. Let's do 20 round. You know, one of my favorite sayings is go big or go home. I don't want to go home. Actually, I already am at home. God, that thing is huge. All right. <laughs> no, there's, there's double feed. I think that was operator air with this Great big old drum. Let's give this a go. Let's see how fast we can get these 20 rounds off. And it'd go faster if we didn't have a jam. I don't know if you've used a lot of drums. It's not uncommon to have this. This is why drums aren't really a huge popular thing. All right, we're going to try this again. And we got the same damn thing well pro mag can't say that i've had best of luck with pro mags hey got it out i'm gonna give it one more go if this doesn't work i'm gonna go back to the the five round mag but i'm gonna be honest you know without uh without something like this i just am not interested in a shotgun like this but that's just me Having some serious issues here. Okay, try again. I'm done with that. I got their five round mag back in. Um, me personally, I'm not interested in a shotgun that has a mag that this, that's this big with five rounds. I'm gonna go with my KSG or my Mossberg 590A1 where I can get, uh, I think I can get nine in that. So anyway, I will say, it is very pleasant to shoot. It has almost zero recoil for a 12 gauge. Let's see how fast I can get these off. Watch my shoulders here and see how much recoil we got. That was pretty nice. Just because I am so wanting to do a mag dump. The bolt was locked open. I got the drum, put it back in. You know, it's lost probably about 10 shells. We'll see, I'm not sure how many's in there. Let's see if we have any better luck this time. And we'll give it a go, but this is it. This is my last try with this. And that's it. Yep. I'm done, guys. Okay, the last one that I've got here from Century Dynamics is the PA-12. It does, you know, two and three quarters, three inch mags. You know, it's got, well, you know, let's just do an up close. I'll show it to you. Just like the other one, I'm going to run through a little Winchester, a little Fiocchi. We've got the two round, the five round, and we're going to give the drum a test. You know, it may work perfect in this being a pump action. As far as the gun itself, you know, pretty standard. You got the mag release here. We've got ghost sights, safeties over here. We've got the interchangeable choke tubes, just like on the other model, exact same things. Anyway, let's get to okay, shoot. So all that's left, what I really want to do is I just want to try the different mags, and I just want to shoot it. I want to see how it functions, see what the recoil is, feel how the ghost ring sights feel, aiming. Let's start with a two round, then we'll go to the five round, and then hopefully we'll try the drum, and maybe the drum's going to work in this one, and that would be awesome, because then 
I could do a mag dump and I love doing mag dumps. Okay, so I got the two round mag. I don't know, it almost seems ridiculous to have a two round mag. Anyway, let's see how that does. Well, that doesn't want to come back. Hang on, let me check this out. Okay, that was the most bizarre thing. Um, it did not want to let me eject that shell until I put it on safety. Let's try that again. Um, interesting. If that's the case, we'll find out here. And I gotta say that is, uh, it's really odd. Well, it did that time. All right, well, let's try again. Actually, let's jump over to the five round. Okay, that was really strange. I got a five round mag. I've got it off safety, okay. Load, let's just see how fast we can get off all five of these rounds. Same thing, I don't know why. I'm gonna take it off safety. It's off safety, there we go, and problems. Forgot to take it off safety. And it's not letting me kick it out. I'm gonna put it back on safety. And it's still not letting me kick it out. You guys seeing this? Maybe it's the Fioki. You know what? I'm gonna take these out. We're gonna switch to Winchester. Give me a second. Okay, we're gonna try this again. I've got now my Winchester. Just, you know, bird shot, skeet rounds. It is on safety. Let's see if it racks. Okay, it racks just fine. I'm gonna take it off safety. We're gonna see how fast we can go through these. And it's not wanting to let me kick it. And I've got it on safety. Same thing. I'm just gonna kick this mag out. I don't normally do this, but I'm done with this review. Um, and I don't know that I've ever said this on a review before, but my impression thus far is complete and total crap. I will say there is some possibility of something that I am overlooking and it could be user error, but I have absolutely no idea what that could be. And now just another thing. There is no release. You know, usually we for a shotgun, we got something over here so that we can pull it back. This does not, I can just do this, whether it's on safety or off safety, but apparently it doesn't like ejecting the shells very much. Anyway, guys, there you go. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I know I certainly have my opinion. I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. Guys, subbing helps more than probably about anything else. Until next time, happy shooting. Be safe. Remember, educate our young people to guns and gun safety. I almost forgot one other thing. They came in kind of these generic boxes, loose, not well packed, stuff floating around, no instructions. The you know, the boxes were not in the best shape. You know, you, whatever. It is what it is. You decide what you think.